Welcome back to Limbus Company, Canto 5. Last time we saw the new identities, didn't get the chance to use them in action because we were too caught up learning the secrets of the lake. This time, we continue on, our ship being pulled in by another ship. The Resonance Tuning Fork. Our bus boat with a dead engine was still sailing, with every sinner's hearts and bodies... Well, not exactly every sinner, but most sinners' hearts and bodies working as one. Oh, and we learned a very valuable lesson about surviving in the Great Lake, that breaking its laws can have catastrophic results. And that's when we noticed that our bus boat was getting dragged by something off course. Just like Ishmael said, two massive vessels were approaching us not far from where we were. Two ships with a set of resonance tuning forks that are attracting the bus in between, assumably to get stuck between the two. So these are both the ships of the pirates, assumably. We're not exactly on a collision course with them, though. Ishmo didn't entertain me with an answer. Instead, she took the helm and threw it widely in one direction. Whoa! This skill. Flashy drift? <laughs> Didn't know ships could drift like a bus. <laughs> Aaron, impressed. Redhead, not bad. You have competition, Karen. <laughs> Hold up. That's weird. She turned the helm all the way. Why are we still headed between those two ships? It's like we're stuck on rails. Though Ishmael turned the Mephistopheles' helm around to the opposite direction of the two ships, we were getting dragged even faster by them. And there was nothing we could do about it. She, don't tell me you hit the reverse gear. I turned the engine off. What? Whoa, are those ships melding into one another? Oh? Are they uniting to make one mega ship? Do they... Is that what they're doing? How does that draw us closer? Though, if that's all they're doing, it's really something magnet related. You bloody loon! That's what you've got to say! We're about to get squashed like bugs! Okay. So that's how they trap people. That's interesting. It's like, um... I hate to use a JoJo reference, but like it's it's obviously the best possible comparison, but it's like Kiss from Part 6, where you know, it separates two things kind of and then pulls them back together at a rapid force brushing things in between. Vaguely it's vaguely like Kiss. Um if you don't know about JoJo, do not worry about that then. I, I hate to make a JoJo comparison. I hate comparing things to other media usually for the people that don't get it, but like it feels too apt. <laughs> You swabby! What happened to all that bravado from Earl? Shut up. <laughs> Even Otis was taken aback by that. He's not used to people talking to her like that after all. I'm going to use the momentum of the pull when it's the strongest to get us out of here. And we're going to crash! Now. Immediately before the crash, Ishmael deftly revved the engine and adjusted several levers in a series of divisive motions before speeding us between and past the two vessels. The oh, back of our ship. The ship's stern was crushed, but it was better than getting completely sandwiched between those two ships, so they might just be magnets then. It doesn't seem like they're merging here, so maybe my comparison was wrong. Although we'll see. I think given the fact that it's u Corp, there's a decent chance they're about to like merge. Mephistopheles' engine can reconstruct damage of this severity within the next few days. Mm. Wait, this is more than just some damage. It's like they deleted the part of our ship. God, as though it had never even been a part of the ship's blueprint. Okay, yeah, that is... This is interesting. I took another look at where the stern used to be. It was, as the sinner said, the stern wasn't crushed. It was effectively deleted as though it had never been there. 
It left a bizarre looking cross section behind. Yep. The Eucrip Singularity, the Resonance Tuning Fork. Ships operate in the Great Lake can merge and separate when needed. As though they've always been a single vessel. Or as though they've never been parts of the same ship. I see. So... Every single ship... Is it specifically ships? It's specific ships in this case, but it can merge things together of the same type? As if they were always one? Is that what it is? Could it merge anything? Like, if it was two organic individuals, two humans, could it merge them together, but perhaps not merge, like, a metal... Maybe it could merge a person in a boat, but it could merge, you know, two boats together. Something like that. Or maybe it is only metal. Maybe it is a magnet. Give me a second. My headphones are dying. <laughs> Luckily, I can plug them in relatively easily. Um, huh. There's a lot to think about, though. What does this mean? Resonance tuning forks used by vessels of that size are strong enough to pull in smaller boats without tuning forks like ours. Or even ones with tuning forks with mismatching wavelengths. Okay, I see. So they've got, like, super strong resonance tuning forks. Normally they work like... They're like super-powered magnets. That makes enough sense. Oh, right. Apologies for taking the helm without your orders, manager. No, don't. You just saved all of our lives. <laughs> I wasn't trying to, but thank you for understanding anyway. Oh, and please accept my apologies for giving unsolicited advice. A certain somebody won't stop flapping her gums at me, so I had to. Not like I can plug my ears in the middle of a voyage, right? Yeah, Ishmael is not okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the war? War mentioned? War mentioned? Let's go. I've heard my share of blunt, foul mouth talk during the war. She's not the first to do so. Do doesn't matter. As long as she can live up to her words, no need to get in the way, I suppose. I'm sorry, Executive Manager. I must take a short break. Ooh, she does not like being shown up. <laughs> I'm so crestfallen, Commander! I- I mean, Captain! Oh. Silence. Executive Manager is a commanding officer. Always been. Oh, this is having, like, a lapse in judgment of her own skills. That's silly. Downcast shoulders and shoulders slumped. Oh, just made her way into the ship, Cabins. Formerly the boss, Captain. Alright. This is not a funny reoccurring joke. I'm going to laugh at it every time. You cannot keep on just being like the ship cabins. Oh yeah, by the way, those are the bus cabins, in case you don't understand. God. God Our destination is near. Welcome to one of the five great ports of Ucorp, the Marlin Port. Bow's voice was dry and emotionless, as though what had just happened didn't affect her one bit. Okay, so we're just meet up to the boot. So those aren't the actual pirates. Those are just like low life they're like the rats of the ocean what's a rat of the ocean i'm trying to think what's what's the best comparison to make about a rat of the ocean you know it's like when people say like pigeons are like the rats of the skies what's a rat of the ocean i don't know leave your answer in the comments below <laughs> i'm not doing question of the day for these i don't know why i say it like that but like i don't know there's there's some joke that can be made there and it's just not quite occurring to me Wow, that's so big! That has to be one of the biggest ships I've ever seen! Honglu was right. We were approaching a massive ship, so large that it could almost be mistaken for an island. Whichever was the case, 
It was clear that the port was a megastructure built from countless metal shipping containers. Mm, shipping containers that have been, like, merged together by u -Corp. Yeah. Mist fades and what was unseen before unveils itself. I scarcely did expect the call to shroud a structure such as this. Yeah, I don't know, can we really call that a ship at this point? Can't help but agree there. Ishmael, does that count as a ship in the Great Lake? Your landsman common sense is useless of the Great Lake. Ships like that use Residence 246 like that are as common as crimes are in the back streets. Or I guess as common as the whales are in the Great Lake. There's multiple. Oh no. Well, Moby Dick is probably like the largest of them. Probably the most, the worst of them all. But like, the fact that there's more of them is scary. Okay, that's that's the cutscene. Are we going to get a fight now? We're going to fight Yukor people or something perhaps? Could be cool. Nope, still, still more cutscene. We're just skipping all the way to the ship. We can see a little bit more to the right now. Not much. Kind of looks like a wall. Or that might just be more shaving containers. Might be more of the same boat we've seen before. So yeah, this stuff's just decoration then. Good to, good to know. I don't think this is going to be decoration. There's definitely going to be some giant whirlpool sooner or later. Because that is an Odyssey joke. And they sure would make an Odyssey joke here. Oh, no, this is a fight. Oh. I, I, I forgot, yeah. That's a relatively recent change. The fact that, you know, fights are displayed as books with swords if it's a fight with story. Okay, I, I don't know if you're looking at what I'm looking at, but every time I move the camera a little bit, this, like, changes a bunch. Like, the lines on it, it's like some weird, like, fading thing going on. Okay. I need to stop looking at that. After numerous trials and tribulations, we finally arrived at our destination. Looks like this place is called Marlin Port Ship of Ucorp, a giant seafaring vessel made by merging together countless ships and containers. Kidnappers, though, so the pirates are involved somehow. We're going to fight them. And this is where my, you know, 500 and Kaplan's going to come into use. I don't think I'm going to be able to use all of it, though. Uh, I think I went a little overboard. Oh, we get to choose six. Interesting. All right, well, obviously we're sending you two in first. Um, possibly some other poised stuff. Yeah, let me set, let me choose, let me set up my poised team. Why not? Make sure they've got egos, okay. I don't even know if this is like an actually like decent poise. Like, like you're here. Why are you here if I'm just going for a poised team? It should be Blade Lineage. You are poised, but you're not good at that. Hey, let, let, let's choose to see if everyone's ego is selected. Uh eh. You need your ego, okay. Good to know. Wrong thing, I do not... And there's my Sinclair supports. Cool, um... Medquick Lantern. Let's see. First team goes, obviously, you're first, you're second, um... Then we'll probably run, like, you, you're important. Eh, she is not as interesting here. What if I do this? What about that? Why not? You know what? Let's go full poise. At least for a couple fights. We'll see how this turns out. What are you weak to, actually? Oh, you're weak to blunt, you resist slash, so we might want to actually take some blunt units then instead of, you know, so much slash. Uh, oh well, we can run with this for now. Maybe I'll adjust my- Ooh! Yeah, that sure is the thing we've seen slightly. That's cool fish there. Funny song. Well then. This is where we will go our separate ways for a short while. Karen and I have business to attend to here. Business? Why? What is it this time? Is he checking in with like, some sort of like superior to like report on like Limbus Company's progress? <sighs> I'm looking to buy some mermaid perfume. Let's leave it at that. Alright, suspicious. Virgilia said, looking straight in advertisement before us. Bottles of mermaid perfume, extracted straight from their left fins. Special discount. I mean, 
I guess I really shouldn't find this too, like, surprising. We did have Miss Mermaid in, uh, Rimina, who sure was a mermaid. So we do know mermaids exist to some degree. I guess they're kind of common. We'll see how many of them actually are like Miss Mermaid, or if Miss Mermaid's an outlier. Oh, are thou planning to procure some for us as well? Quite curious I am, of that mermaid perfume. What other curiosities the great lake await us, I wonder? Mm. Mermaid tears, yeah. A significant source of income for the people of Yukorp comes from selling whale and mermaid products. Whale oil, mermaid tears, mermaid perfumes, whale cuisine, and more, to list a few examples. <laughs> Alright. Oh, lo, I spy a purveyor of iced creams over yonder! Sardine whale flavored ice cream. How is that appetizing to you? Sardines are quite savory, not even if they do have a funny look to them. Alas, I am more keen to learn the flavors of the Marlin whale ice cream. Will you not accompany us to our destination, dear guide? I've done my job as your guide. So is this where we're going to get a quote-unquote job? That is something that we've gotten, like... Because in Kanto 4, we were, like, working semi-directly for K-Corp. So we can do something similar here. Are we going to get, you know, our directive on, you know... Our, our secondary guide. Our guide to this specific one. Point you in the right direction, and that's where my responsibilities end. It's not my job to accompany you all the way there. Or I guess we're probably going to see the LCCB person, whoever that's going to be. Well, you may be correct, your words also come across as rather impersonal. <laughs> For now. Then you heard me right, Yisung. I don't intend to make friends with any of you, nor do I want to. That'll change in time. He'll have his character arc. He'll have his character arc. He's being spiteful. Don't, don't let these small tasks give you the wrong impression. No, Miss Faust. Our allies are expecting us. Allies make it sound like LCCB. Yep, before team. The before team on the ground will relay us the location of the Lobotomy Corp branch housing the Golden Bow. So, based on what we know so far, if we most of the places in this district are on ships, the Lobotomy Corp branch was probably on a ship, and it's probably specifically the ship that's sunk to the bottom of the ocean in the uh, teaser trailer we saw back from um, Tokyo Game Show. So that, that's my current guess. I think that would make perfect sense. It could be a ship that's, like, entirely dedicated to being the Lobotomy Corp branch, for all we know. We don't know, like, how important it was, but it's probably pretty important. Every corp needs its energy somehow. According to our last communication, they should be waiting for us there. Dark corners of you, corp. This place is a bit spooky. What is that? If I do this, it'll still sort of clear. Yeah, so I can't actually see the background. That just says no. I don't know, I can't read graffiti too well, and I'm sure plenty of it's in Korean. Um. Oh, I forgot keybinds are a thing, so I can press space now. I don't need to click. I don't see anyone here. What's up with that, Fow? I can tell from your tone that you doubt me. This is the location I was relayed. <laughs> so we got here first. Bloody brilliant. Before team, more like belated team, innit? Allow me to make a minor correction. We arrived about one hour and thirty minutes behind schedule. 
지난번 제이사에서 만난 LCCB 대원들은 훨씬 hmm. 전부터 어, uh, LCCB agents we met you back at J Corp were already on the scene and Ah. Hmm. Uh, I'm sure that kind of reminded everyone of the same duo. It did for me too. Thinking about them even for a brief moment is Ah. It appears that they have elected to sleep in lieu of our appearance. Oh, I can already tell this character might be awesome. Effie Saud, we didn't deserve you to. Oh! Oh, it's one of the pirates. That isn't one of the LCCB people. <sighs> Ain't none of you gotta watch, eh? What the hell's wrong, Pilot? Oh no, maybe it is. Did they meet with the pirates? Apologies. In our hurry, we happened upon an unforeseen mishap on our journey here. Yeah, this guy doesn't have eyes. He's definitely a minor thing. Oh yeah, it makes sense. We, we already know from the cutscene that they've kidnapped the LCCB agent. And so the pirates probably got that information from them and are... Oh, I see. Yeah. they're gonna. The pirates are going to try and use us... As bargaining chips as well. It's probably they probably think that Limbus Company was sent to save the LCCB person, perhaps, or that you know we're here to pay them, and we've got no plans to do that. Someone from the corner of the shipping container rises from their nap and stretches. They sound oddly aggressive. Huh. My my, Hong Lu, wait. Oh. Your badge is upside down. Remember to always keep your appearance tidy. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's faking it and doing a bad job. Huh. What's this sticky red thing on your... On his chest hung an upside down LCCB agent badge. It was soaked in blood. Uh, I hope this badge would have a more dramatic effect. Let's see here. Limbus Company, before team, team leader. And the rest of the squad was just wiped entirely. The fool's floating around in our territory. I've got to say, that was bravely stupid. <laughs> that sorry production was an insult to art. Get to the point before I snap your neck completely. <laughs> Here, lads, so tardy, it's so impatient. Why don't you first give us a listen? You're looking for the golden whatchamacallit, RD. Oh. What have you done to the team leader? Hold your horses now, lads alive and will. I can't do a pirate accent. I'll I'll try. And I'll fail. <laughs> This is a hostage negotiation, then. This ain't me first to ransom rodeo, if you know what I mean. I gotta do, like, Mr. Krabs. That's the secret, yeah. It's simple. Give us the cash and we return your friend. We don't get the cash and we give your friend an impromptu burial in the shipping container right here. Kidnappers, eh? Whoa, whoa, I wouldn't do that if I were ye, laddie. Think before you act, eh? Anything goes wrong and your friend bites it. It's very straightforward, if I do say so myself. Just do as we say, and ye and that friend of yours continue on your merry adventure. Get back to finding your golden whatchamacallit. That was way to throw in a full-on gourmet tour guide for me, just as a bonus. Okay, so they're offering to give us, like... A tour of the food of this place? Or do they mean an actual tour guide? Or made tour guide for you, just sweeten the deal. I don't know if that means someone else they've kidnapped or if they are offering to show, give us food. You bloody mag. Okay, 
Okay, okay, gotcha. I see what's going on here. Give us some time to discuss this, why don't you? There's no point in escalating this. It'll do nothing but draw unnecessary attention to us. Is this where... This is, might be where Ryoshu is a nuisance. Someone's going to cause a scene here. I don't think it's going to be Dawn this time, potentially. We'll see. Dawn's gotten a fair bit of focus over his chapter, but so is Ryoshu, I feel. If our impulsive actions get that LCCB agent killed... True, they hold the upper hand in the negotiation. The two war veterans are talking about this, of course. They're more than familiar with it. I don't believe these fools know much about the Golden Bow. They likely kidnapped him by chance, thinking they could get a hefty ransom out of him. Oh, here's, here's Dawn being a little silly. Yeah. We have come across many men and women of evil nature in our adventure. Such brazen villainy has heretofore not been encountered. Oh, classless. It is grotesquery without a cause. Approaching them head-on will only sick their friends after us. Friends who may be involved with a powerful local syndicate. Our chance of victory is slim, should such an event come to pass. We do not possess enough intel on U-Corp to effectively maneuver that situation. Yeah. Yeah, we don't even know how big this syndicate behind this guy is. But from the way he said his lines, this probably isn't his first time doing this, right? Um, and there's also a chance they're just small fries, isn't there? <laughs> if they're small fries, let's crush them all. We'll hit them from behind before they even get the chance to lay a finger on the hostage. No, it could mean that their syndicate is maybe so small and scattered that it is impossible to be traced. Yeah, Oda is very familiar with hostile negotiations, I'm sure. Ugh. So, we don't know anything. Great. Are they really going to, if we don't pay up? Blast it. I know they're kind. Scum like them around every corner of the city. If this goes cock up, they'll kill the hostage and won't even leave a body for us to find. All kinds of awful images and ominous speculation begin to overwhelm us. The so-called kidnappers were crowding amongst themselves, giggling and chattering. They knew that our options were limited. Okay. Then I'm going to start off by asking how much they want. We're out of our element here. The best I can do is try to gather some information at least. Huh. A short, exasperated sigh escaped Ishmael's lips. She had been there standing this whole time, arms crossed over the harpoon that rested upon her chest. I assume she knows that if we give them money, they're just going to ask for more money. These guys are never going to compromise. I think that's how it'll go. Yeah. You're going to pay them? Are you crazy? What else can we do? Even now, the hostage... I don't care about your excuses. I don't care to know if this really is the best course of action you could come up with. Any doubts about the manager's decisions? Are unnecessary. Yeah, they're predictable as always. Executive manager's decisions are orders. Without them is insubordination. Ishmael, it doesn't matter how competent of a sea dog you are. <laughs> okay, if you say so. But who cares? They've not given me an order. They didn't forbid me from doing anything. So what's your problem here? I just can't sit here and watch this play out. Ishmael strode towards the kidnappers. 
It was plain from her tone and expression that she did not care one bit about what the other sinners said. I'll gladly accept the consequences. She shot me a fleeting glance before raising her harpoon. Or insubordination manager. Oh. <laughs> She's just got her full harpoon there. Then thrust her well sharpened harpoon right into one of the kidnappers' forehead. Oh! Dante, they're in shock. They're in shock. The entire course of her action from start to finish was so full of absolute confidence that no one even thought to stop her. I couldn't either. Oof. Okay, what does this mean? This is your skill three's name as your new identity, so who knows? Ryoshi was right. The kidnapper suffered a total obliter obliteration of forehead. Okay. I don't think I'm in the wrong for not knowing what that stood for. Y you know? Ishmael, what did you just... What did you just do? The glare was the first to snap out of the stupefied dance. He's mad. He's, he's got he's got anger with him, so you know what happens. The LCCB, so they just took hostage. We just put him at risk because of us. <laughs> I think I was trembling hard. I couldn't tell if it was the welling tears he was holding back or an uncontrollable fury. Yeah. You go, white boy. Um. <laughs> Like then, just like back then with me, with Stoud. Yeah. Sinclair especially holds a lot of like guilt over their deaths because it does feel like his fault because it was you know his part of the journey. And, you know they were chill, like they survived Rodeons, but you know they survived. The Sinclair is where they perish, and also the fact that Sinclair is probably the least capable of dealing with death of all the sinners due to being the least experienced. Although ever, all the sinners have had dead family members or loved ones or close compatriots, stuff like that, so it's not too uncommon. It's only a few months ago when... Don't tell me you've moved on already! Huh? Um... What's Sinclair doing? Why are we seeing fragments of Effie and Saud? Physically? Sinclair's having a gamer moment? What? Sinclair's memories? I saw an image of Saud and Effie, both smiling. Both were excellent field agents. And because they were both excellent agents, they suffered to their last moments before our eyes. Helplessly watching as they slowly expired in front of him. At his old home at that. That day must have been scorched into his memories. I recalled Ishmael's vision that I witnessed back at the boatworks. Was that also a moment that was burned into her memories, I wonder? Okay, so Dante can just see, uh, physically see fragments of the sinner's memories. Okay. Hmm. Ishmael didn't seem to find Sinclair's questions worth answering. She strode towards one of the closest shipping containers and kicked it open. A body that had been dead for so long that its complexion and consistency barely resembled that of a living human slumped to the floor. Oh! It's once been dead for at least a week. And of course, isn't our LCCB agent. Ishmael kicks the body, tossing it on its back. Jeez. From the looks of it, this one was a tourist visiting Marlinport. Probably loaded, too, if they could come forward to travel to the Great Lakes just for its sights. They would have been able to afford whatever ransom the pirates demanded. Kidnap, extort, execute. These syndicates have been repeating these three steps for a good while at Ucorp. Even as their names and organizations changed with time, they're everywhere, like vermin. Yep, they had no plans of returning them. That makes sense. It would be more accurate to call them pirates here. Wow. 
They'll never return the hostages. They'll keep asking for more and more ransom until the money well dries up. Ishmael poked the body with her foot. Then they kill the hostages, like they did this one in. Mm. Quite numerous the prevalence of such tragedies must be. How can this be? Wherefore doth no hero rise to the occasion and put a stop to these villains? I believe this to be a place of tourism, is it not? Well, that usually means that there's a bigger fish looking out for these small fries. That matters not. Let such villains run rampant in the city as... Mm. Her own, her delusion world. Uh, that must be the case that the fixer of the city are yet unaware of this travesty. Mayhaps they were preoccupied tending to others in need, indeed. Not else but that explains this. Or we to send a missive to one of the just and honorable associations of the... Don Quixote. Please. Isn't about time you woke up from your delusions. I've had enough of your ramblings about justice. Your villains. I... You know what? Never mind. It's like I'm talking to a brick wall. You're not going to listen to me anyway. It's so frustrating to have to sit here and just... The shabbiness is... I can't get anything done in time. By now, we should have been talking to the LCCB agent, getting the intel we need. Ishmael's eyes died, dart around with wrath, impatience, and anxiety. A metaphorical storm, an amalgamation of senses. <sighs> she was billowing wildly and helplessly in the tempest. I could not even hope to hold her steady. <laughs> You have brought this on yourselves. Oh, God. Our waters. Do you even know what syndicate you dogs just. Yeah. If we're doing this, well, let's get it over with. Okay, now we get to the first fight of the Kanto. We're an hour and a half into it so far, although half of that was, you know, identities and new stuff. Okay. Familiar music. Nothing new just yet. We're starting with six people, though. That's interesting. There's like houses of shipping containers in here. There's shipping containers that had people in it. Yeah, that's the one that had people in it. All right. Well, these units, look at them. They're the ones here, of course. I don't, I don't care about the old units at this point. Pirate Gregor, OCCB Ryoshu. Don't know how much we can make them shine here, but let's see. So that's your, that's your gun. We don't want to use that quite yet. This one gives you some poise caps, so we probably want to go for that. Yeah, this doesn't even, like, win the clash. I guess, first things first, let's see what these enemies are doing. I know Sandy Tab's locked now, right? Oh no, we can just straight up see it. Weren't they supposed to make it so Sandy Tab gets locked at first? Let's see. Mustachio, bandana wearing, so there's two different types here. The unit's poise gain 5 poise upon clash win. Every turn of the first coin, his head hits gain damage up next turn, and the first coin, his tails hits gain 1 damage down next turn. Funny enough. And are the bandana ones the same? Similar enough? Yeah. There's just probably minor uh, skill set differences between these three and these two. Point effects activate when this unit has poise. So if you have any poise at all, you deal more damage if you get tails on either of those coins. Okay. Unfortunately, we do not have a lot of very favored clashes going for us. We can trigger Slayer. That's cool, I guess. See, Gregor. Unilateral business. They're, I mean, that's what he wants to use first, anyways. That's his poise count gain. So we just gotta hope we're gonna do decently here. Yeah, they resist Slash. They're gonna be weak to Blunt. Ugh. Gregor lost his Clash. That's unfortunate. Not much else we could have done there. Maybe I should level up my units to level 40. Are these guys already all level 40? No, they're level 32. That's not the issue, then. Okay, but luckily... I've got a little bit of poise... No, that's good. It's on use, right? Yeah, it's on use. So you still gain poise, even though, you know, you failed a little bit. Um, your poise count is awful. 
god. There's not really any way around it. It's pretty bad. We could try using the gun. Eh, probably not. Resolution, that's your passive? Yeah, if a purple's poise can gain two haste. Not happening. Boys are just very hard to manage in like any situation. Okay, now uh, you need lead on target. You can only inflict lead with crit. Oh no, that inflicts bleed a little. Okay. You need to hit someone with lead to stack up your thing. Oh, we also need the two pride. We just got it though. God, what a what a long description. Funny though. Hope I actually remember how these guys work. I do vaguely enough. Nice. They resisted, of course. The poise team's definitely not the play. Not a lot of like poise synergy with poise between poise units, so uh it really I didn't really need to focus on it this hard. Honestly, should probably go for like a bleed team or something, maybe, if we want really want to capitalize off of you. Good idea. I could do like semi bleed. Then there's also you, who kind of benefits from tremor and rupture. Although pirates probably gonna be the, our main focus. It's no funny. We should also probably just use the gun. It's not gonna do great here. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm more so than aware. We can negotiate. Start. We can hit this guy. He'll have bleed on him, so we'll be able to stack some of his funny passive or his funny stat effect. I already forget the name of. Got a fancy name though, so you know that's probably why I forgot it. Nice. Okay. Decent crit chance. Didn't quite crit, that's fine. It's still a good rupture, it's still a good tremor. Not the most, but it's something. Okay, nice. Oh yeah, there we go. You got one unjust enrichment. You know, heads hit against target lead. Oh, you have zero sanity. That's not good for you know that. What's the icon? It's a coin? Yeah, it's a coin. Makes sense. Well, we'll try and see if we can get a foregone conclusion. No, we shouldn't. It's a two-way fight. We should use our point if poise gaining things more. And we'll block with our non-focus units, I think. We'll let them do the most possible. No, you can get this kill, though. Oh, let's see. But this is... Gain two poise. How are you doing on poise? You're doing decently on poise count. We probably want to try getting more poise count off, though. We do some of this. We were stalling a little bit to build up poise to get the most out of these units. And then we go for a couple negotiation starts. It's not great, but it's something. Ugh. Battle cry. I need to be looking at what their skill they're doing a little more. I'm kind of ignoring that part more than I really should. Nice wave too. Anything special? No more of the same. All right. Is eh, not a bad choice, honestly. Going for that now. No, we'll save it for next turn. One more turn. We'll go for double negotiation starts. You kind of. Oh, you're poised. You don't have any poise count. Awful. It says you rely on your skill 2 to gain any poise count. What is your passive? Does your passive give you poise count under certain circumstances? Nope. Okay. But we need to... No, we gain some poise count from this. We just need to hit with the first point. Yeah, that one of those will hit. Statistically speaking. Opportunity slash is decent. No, you need more poise count. We need to stack up the poise. Yeah, this works. Nice. Okay, but Gregor crit there, so he actually didn't end up gaining any poise. Because he had 20 crit, yeah. He had 20 poise. Okay. Hook punched. You know, this is... Uh, that's not great. Our, our poise count is not going well. We're gonna go for an oof here. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. We'll just defend here so you don't spend any of it. Yeah, we can go for an heavy resonance to do stupid amounts of damage. And we'll just go for the foregone conclusions just so we can shoot some people. 
you'll get 50% more damage. You're not getting a crit. Like most poise units, uh, Mirror Dungeon is very required to be able to keep his poise decent. Nice. Whoa. We're killing, we're killing. There's a funny Asia that did a lot of damage. And that one got tails, so it didn't. It wasn't nearly as funny. Okay. Yeah, these new units are very silly. Like most poise units, they're not really going to be great in the actual story segments. The fights are just not built for poise. Oh, I thought that was it was over. Oh, not. Okay, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of uh, speed slots right now. Yeah, everyone had two, so there's our victory. Nice. This loading screen, God. Got U Corp's logos on it. Four of them. That doesn't leave much for our business. Hmm. Let's check their wallets to see what see what they've got. Okay, so Gregory's gonna rob them. No one else did a lot of damage here, actually. These two were the best damage dealers on the team. That makes sense. You know, post battle cutscene, I do think it'll be a interesting. Okay, yeah, it's transitioning. That makes sense. The pirates have a layer here, it would seem. Oh, and we're gonna go down into it. Yeah. Good to know. It is still on a ship, but this pirate ship must be like run by the pirates. Or it's not a pirate ship. You know what I'm saying. Okay, let's switch our team up a little bit. We'll we'll keep you. You know what? We'll switch to story for now. And we'll change things around to fit my optimal ideas. We'll do you, you, you. We'll add Ishmael because, you know, themed. And then what? We want someone for bleed and potentially someone for rupture or something? Who's a good bleed unit? Huh? Hook's still new. Yeah, we'll take Hook. That'll work. And one more unit. Who's someone who can really capitalize off of everything we've got going? Really, LCCB Ishmael is not a bad idea right now. There it is with quite a bit. I'd rather Molar because it's like water themed though. Hmm. You want to lean into Tremor maybe? Uh. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of thoughts. Maybe take another bleed unit. Maybe. What's another actually like decent bleed unit though? Encore. One who grips. I want to use another two star. I want to use another two star. I want to keep that even, which is kind of why I'm currently torn on who to throw on here. I'm gonna throw on LCR. LCR wasn't bad. Yeah, we'll throw on LCR. That'll work. That's funny. Cutscene. It said, yeah, this is a cutscene out of fight. It had the book icon. Okay, but it seems like it's cutscene after the fight, most likely then. Ooh. Ishmael. It's a good thing I brought Ishmael. She's got her own special effect going on right now. Starting her with negative 25 SP. At less than 0 SP, it turns 13. 3 attack power up. And it's like, that's a really interesting icon to use. Because it's similar to like the work types in Lob Corp. But you know, with like a... With arrows. And of course like a harpoon in the center, I assume. That's what that's supposed to be. Very interesting. Whether or not that means I should or shouldn't bring Ishmael is hard to figure out. It does mean that I feel like we might be getting a negative Sandy Ishmael identity sometime soon, though. Okay, let's see. Play these guys smart. You need to use that one. Something like this should work decently. Eh. Your poison is going to be great. That's fine. I always wonder if I'm missing something for poise units, because it never seems like they can actually build up enough poise to do anything. Yeah, this one gains three poise units, so you rely on your skill too, so we need to do, like, what, a bunch of skill 1 to skill 2s in Mirror Dungeon, probably? And you need to use this to keep your poise count even slightly positive. Which is lame, because it's your skill 1. And your block doesn't help you with that, I don't know. A lot of conflicting stuff going on with these units. That's kind of the issue with boys in general. Oh, that's just been staggered. 
Not nice. These guys also level. These guys are level 33, I see. Okay. You're staggered. No one's going to be able to actually hit you. We've got the advantage as far as speed dice go. Only ever so slightly, though. It's only because we start with six people and they only get five. You don't have any poise right now. You kind of need some poise count. Okay, you can go for that. Then it'll kill. Then a rattle business. Double up on that, that's for sure. He's going to have far too much poise potency, though. We need. He needs to only have skill twos. For like a while, if we want to have any chance. And no, that's not exactly how that works. He's going to crit too often. Yeah, I mean, he's got 6 poise count right now. That's not bad. He's also got 21 potency, so it's a good time for him to use his gun, theoretically. He would be theoretically, because I don't really want him to. Um, None of these guys. There might be a stronger one in this fight. We'll have to see. Okay, plus 1 poise count. Oh, yeah, that should be fine enough. And you need more of that. Yeah, just weak attacks. These things all die. Uh, I guess there were some bad clashes going on there. Decent chance those guys get hit a little bit, though. Yeah, Gregor's critting a little too much for my liking. That works, though. Anything special? No more of the same. Okay. I gotta go for one of these, though. Sooner or later, I had to, after all. I know it's going to be pretty good. You've got three unjust enrichment, which is decent. Did you shoot? Hmm. Maybe nah. Well, we'll, we'll save your gunshot for a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> that's a strong attack. And he gains the plus coin boost thanks to how that went. That's nice. He's had some trouble clashing. I think it's mostly just because we keep on getting reverted to zero sanity every fight. I think this Gregor could be a super fun identity, though. Especially because his police count seems decent right now. I was complaining about it earlier. I think that's because I got unlucky and kept on drawing skill ones. Um, His skill one's definitely bad, though. It's, it's going to be negative on police count most of the time. That's the trade-off, though. Okay. And they're all very near dead. Okay. This means you can probably let you take a gunshot at this guy now. Yeah. And just go for a bunch of strong attacks. We're not going to get a chance to do much else. We're going to get... We're probably going to get a good oof off. No, the thing died too fast. We didn't get the third coin off, actually. So never mind, we're not getting good oof off. Okay, their, their poison isn't too bad. Keep in mind, this is them at two skill slots, though. Which isn't always going to happen stuff like Mirror Dungeon. But Mirror Dungeon, if you got you, yes, you can kind of even it out. I think this team is good, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep on rolling with this team. It's a good balance of what's going on, I think. Oops. You, when our boss hears this, you're all finished. So if he, uh, bow down and beg for... <laughs> like a foot closer, god. Wait, I'm not finished. Get away. Get. And that was like approaching Scottish. Oh, that's convenient. You just slit her throat? Nice. Now we know we can go up the chain and talk to their boss in charge. Let's stop wasting our time here. I don't want to have to crack open these shipping containers one by one and go through mountains of rotting corpses. You can still point, right? Yep, she, she cut... She cut that person's throat, and now it is like, yeah, point to where we need to go. Please. Location of your boss. Mark it on this map with your finger. I wasn't sure when she picked it up, but Ishmael was carrying a travel brochure of Marlin Park. Port. She shoved it in the pirate's face, who struggled for a moment before pointing to a location on the map. As soon as her trembling finger reached the paper, 
Ishmael killed her. Ishmael, wait! Well, we have our next stop. What are we waiting for? Yep, she is going insane. Yeah, it makes sense. Most of the centers we've got in Kanto's floor didn't quite have the temperaments to, well, go full kill mode. Sinclair was the closest, but Sinclair's whole thing is, you know, it's kind of half and half. You know, he's got the rage in him, but he's also got, like, the... They're like the newbie side to him. But for Ishmael, she knows what she's doing. She is not happy, and she's just going all out. Ishmael walked out, leaving nothing but shipping containers full of both old and fresh bodies behind. What are the odds that the LCC BH we were supposed to meet is still alive? Depends on how rich they think we are. He could already be dead, then. Even if the worst comes to pass, we should still find his body. That'll at least give us something. If it's all fine at the end of this, his corpse, Ishmael. I don't think I could forgive. Ooh. <laughs> Who? Me? Oh. No. Us. We who didn't even try to save them. He's, he's siding with Ishmael here. That's raw. Good job, Sinclair. That was... I'm listening. Should we do something? Is she going to be okay? I mean, Ishmael. I can give you answers regarding her insubordination and her emotional state. But this is not a matter in which Faust's answers can be of much assistance. <laughs> Executive manager, such insubordination and nigh-rogue behavior would have resulted in an on-the-spot execution in any other organization. I am aware that punishing the sinners is not a part of the authority given to you, but there must be penalties befitting her actions for proper management. Otis, you're always on my side. Pretty much always, now that I think about it. <laughs> I have been a leader of men once, as you are now. I can sympathize with your troubles. All right, Otis. I don't know if I can manage Ishmael anymore. I just don't. Though it looked like she was acting rash, maybe it was... Maybe she knew the right thing to do in this scenario. If Ishmael suddenly decides to quit or something... Faust will doubtless proceed to educate me on the various clauses that prevent Ishmael from quitting. But it's not like I could force her to come along should this hostility escalate. Besides, she'd already acted without my orders earlier. She did say that she'd follow my orders, but I wasn't sure how long that would last. Executive manager, that doesn't matter. We don't need there to be 12 sinners. Like, once again, Otis was saying this, I think, in Kanto 2. She was like, yes, all... You're the only one I need, Dante. Or you're the only one... You... I'm the only one you need. Trying to be like, we don't need all the sinners. Unbeknownst that we sure do need all the sinners to physically act with the golden bows since they're rough with into all of them. Are you saying that we leave Ishmael? Ishmael? <laughs> Executive Manager, I have wandered for many years in far, far lands for making my journey here, and I have done so with steadfast determination for a single clause in my contract with the company. Several years on a clause with the company. Wait. Has she been working for Olympus for years? Is that what she's saying here? Am I misreading it? I can't tell. I think she may have been stating too indirect that fact there. I came ready to face all the hardships the journey entails. Adversity, conflict, and loss of comrades are simply facts of this quest that I must weather. Truth be told, I expect all of them to happen at some point in our journey. Oh, I will always remain by your side, of course. 
be smoothly out of the last part, but... But there was a growing suspicion at the back of my mind that maybe not everyone felt a sense of belonging from this group. Maybe I was the only one who sought a sense of belonging from them. That we'd fight as one no matter what ordeal this journey threw in our way. That's a, it's such a raw image. Sinclair, Sinclair is great. Oh, you did the most this time. Greg did a lot too. I mean, they are the ones who get the second skill slot first, so it makes sense. But now we've finally gotten some fights done. That's the end of this episode, though. Join back next time, and we're going to be entering the club, which seems to be the base of the, the pirates that we are oh so ready to take down. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!